All right, here we are for our driving video of the 95 Ford F-150 with just 102,000 miles. Got the lights going, all the blinkers, so you can see those are working properly. Uh, we'll take you as it is running, so you can see it's running good, no issues. We'll take you on just a little city drive, do a little hill climb um, up this steep little hill, and then uh, get on the freeway and just do a little cruising. We do uh, do the videos just to try to help out. Oh, I forgot to, I don't know if I mentioned the other ad that the, uh, the seat belt, it doesn't recoil as like uh, it's useful self should. Um, so there's a little piece down in there you can replace just from get one from a wrecking yard or something. Sometimes it bounces back from the and then sometimes it doesn't. So I just want to make sure that's, uh... so it's got uh, 102, 819. On the odometer, you can see there's no uh, idiot lights. Uh, all the gauges are working. The fuel tank switch does work, and the gauge works for both. Now, if this looks a little funny because uh, the runner in there, um, the ball joint on it is no good. So, but we have one on order. We bought off eBay, and it's on its way here. Uh, cold AC. You can hear the blower motor. No howling issues. Factory stereo, but it sounds pretty good though. So all right, we're on a hill here, and uh, put a neutral. Foot's not on the brake, and uh, you can see we're not rolling. So you know the e-brake works, we'll go ahead and pull it. And now we're rolling down a little bit. All right, so we'll get cruising here. Um, we try to do our best to describe these things. You know, they're uh, everybody's idea of something's different. So if we miss something, or you need a different video, please let me know. Um, we'll just get going up the steep hill you can see. We got some potholes coming up. We're doing about 40. Soaks them up nice. There you go. Nice, no rattles at all. We were doing pretty good. We're doing about 45 there. So you can see we're getting going on this hill climb. It's got the 5.8 351, so it gets up and moves good. You know, just stabbed it and it climbs right up this hill. It's got the push button four wheel drive. Go ahead, both lights come on. Easy to manage. If you want the four low, you got to uh, actually stop and then you can start doing that. Cruise control works and everything. The horn works, everything works on this thing. It's, you know, it's nothing's perfect, but this truck really is about as perfect as you can get. I'll do the hands free, we'll come to the stop, nice and straight. So, all the brakes are good, no ball joint, tie rod issues. Uh, very tight, smooth steering. We'll get going here and get on the freeway and uh, kind of get that 351 revved up a little bit. So I'll just hammer down on there. So it gets up good. I mean, it's a great highway truck or city driving truck. Uh, no cracks or chips in any of the windows. You know, all your wing windows are nice and tight. There's no uh, wind sound or anything going on there. You know, you got your overdrive off. That's uh, not blinking or anything like that. Uh, all that works good. The transmission shifts really nice. Accelerates really nice. So, all right, we'll get going. Just a slow acceleration. Um, so there's no sluggishness, no shuddering. So that's just barely giving that quarter throttle. So that's to the floor. And then it just kind of cruises. Now I'll turn off the overdrive. This one doesn't have the RPM gauge, but you can kind of hopefully hear it kind of kick down. The steering wheel on this, uh, for some reason it's tilted a little bit to the right. Um, I'll have to check the air pressure. Um, maybe it's, you know, but it drives straight. Otherwise, the steering wheel just kind of stays in that spot. You don't need to hold on to it or nothing. It drives really nice and straight. So I might, I might need to get her in for an alignment. So, um, you know, everything else checked out real good. I just actually had the tires rebalanced. So I wish they would have said something, but I'll get it in, get aligned. If the steering wheel doesn't straight out, um, I'll, I'll post something on there uh, towards the end of the weekend. 
so look at look for a post on there whether that's fixed or not um, but again it's gonna be seven day auction no reserve really easy to drive truck I mean mechanically really it's about as perfect as you can get just an iron truck uh, interior super clean you know very nice got some rare options it's a one owner no reserve so good luck